Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I etch my Maker's Mark into my blades um, with items that everybody should have at home so you don't have to buy any fancy equipment. Um, I know this one I'm showing you right here isn't perfect, there's this little line underneath my Maker's Mark um, but uh, I will show you how to uh, prevent this from happening. Um, so uh, yeah, enjoy, have fun and uh, yeah. Okay, at first you need your Maker's Mark to be in your computer. So if you have drawn it yourself, you need to scan it or take a photo of it or somehow get it into your computer. After that, you are going to change the background to be black and the foreground to be white. Only thing left to do is to flip your Maker's Mark around to be, uh, to be mirrored like that. Now you want to print your Maker's Mark onto the uh, backing paper on which stickers come, so this shiny stuff. If you are really cheap or you don't have uh, stickers, you could also use this really glossy um, magazine papers. It will work just as well. So now it looks like this. I've already used some of my Maker's Mark, so that's why there are holes. Um, because the next thing you're going to do is to, to cut out your little Maker Mark. I'm going to use um, this one, just for, for the purpose of showing you. Stick your cutout onto some uh, paper-based tape-like masking tape. And you stick it on there, the uh, printed side facing up. Like, this is the gluey side, and you want to put it on there like this. Now, this is the blade that I want to etch. And I'm going to degrease it, degrease it with a little bit of a alcohol uh, patch. I, I'm just going to rub it off like this. Now stick your your cutout to the blade where you want it to be. Like this. You can trim the exit or you can just fold it over, that doesn't really matter. Now you need an iron, which you turn as hot as possible. Now you are simply going to iron your blade. Be sure to apply quite a lot of pressure and uh, wait at least 30 seconds. Use something fireproof underneath your blade. Now that my knife is cool to the touch, I came over to the sink and I'm going to run the water over it until the uh, tape dissolves a little bit. Or at least is really, really well moist. You should now be able to carefully pull off the tape. And you should be left with your um, mark. Cover as much as possible of the area that you don't want to be etched with electrical tape. A 
Okay, now the fun part begins. Your most important item will be some kind of power supply that puts out uh, between 3 and 12 volts of power. Uh, AC, DC, doesn't really matter. <coughs> uh, I use an old battery charger. Um, yeah, you will find something. Other than that, you'll need a Q-tip and a little bit of salt water where you add um, salt until it stops dissolving. Clip the negative pole to the steel and uh, with the positive pole you hold your Q-tip like this. Now you're going to dip your Q-tip into your salt water and you start etching. Uh, I found it works best if you don't actually touch the steel and just hover over it and the water will make the connection between your uh, Q-tip and the steel. Just watch me doing it. If your Q-tip gets a little dirty, turn it around or use a new one. The only thing left to do now is to clean everything up. This is how it looks now. Not bad, huh? Um, those little dots are just uh, pieces of ink and you can easily wipe them off with a little bit of acetone. They will come off quite easy. Okay! Um, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, uh, hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Um, subscribe for more videos of this kind and uh, yeah, have a nice day, see ya!